Morning Cap Rush Hour for Friday, April 12th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. They are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears at Greater Midwest Exteriors. Quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. All right, 13 days away from the NFL Draft Bears hold, as you all know, picks one and nine. NFL analyst Charles Davis was on the Waddle and Sylvie show on ESPN 1000 this afternoon. He was asked about Caleb Williams. He was very positive on his skill set and he gave his comp for a fully developed Williams in his NFL career. You ready for it? Aaron Rodgers. That's who he sees Caleb Williams becoming. Oh, baby, let's Go. Can you imagine if we have that kind of high-level quarterback play in this city? As bad as we've been since Sid Luckman in the 1939 NFL Draft? Are you serious? Let's go. So that leads me. And I told you about it yesterday. Our Oasis Restoration question of the day. They'll clean up the mess so you don't have to take it from a guy who used them. Put them in your phone and you go, oh, we got water in the basement. OasisRestorationCO.com. If the Bears see a player they love and he's available at pick four to eight, so the quarterbacks go one, two, three, as everyone expects, Bears, Washington, New England. Now it's Arizona who has said our guy is Kyler Murray. Okay, good luck with that. Then do you trade up to go get Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors, if there's Joe Alt, or somebody that maybe they have more highly rated than others do? Would you pay that price? Because you probably have to give up the Carolina second round pick next year and maybe even a little bit more depending how high up you're going from nine to four, five, six, whatever the case may be. Best answer gets dinner at Lou Malnati's. Try their brand new limited time offering of a Mike's Hot Honey Pizza in both deep dish and thin crust varieties. Would I do it? To get an all pro caliber left tackle like Joe Alt? Plug and play with Darnell Wright and Joe Alt? I might. I might. I think your offensive line has got to take another step. But Marvin Harrison, he'd be intriguing too. The Shohei Otani gambling scandal finally reached the point of clearing his name. As the FBI said today, they have arrested his translator, Ife Mizahara. He's now being charged with stealing more than $16 million. And the FBI said, we've reviewed hundreds of text messages between Mizahara and the bookie. None of them connected Otani in any way, and no message on Otani's phone records show that he was gambling or knew of the bank fraud that was being committed. Kentucky named one of their former players, current BYU head coach Mark Pope, their new coach to replace John Calipari. Connecticut big man Donovan Klingon headed to the NBA, as are Duke stars Kyle Filipowski and Jared McClain. Cubbies in Mar- and Mariners in Seattle, Jordan Wicks on the bump. White Sox and Reds at guaranteed rate field. Bulls and Wizards in the nation's capital. Blackhawks host the Predators. And I'll have three recaps from those games. Go final tonight. Have a great rest of your night. Enjoy the awesome weather. Have a great weekend. I'll see you tonight. I appreciate you greatly. Take that.